Something extraordinary, truly extraordinary, is happening in Scottish politics right now. Not that you'd know about it if you rely on the MSM. Scheming Sturgeon, once the most potent threat to the United Kingdom as we know it, has become so politically toxic that her continued presence as Scotland's First Minister threatens to put the Scottish separatism cause back by a generation. Honest Scots, hard-working Scots, ordinary Scots have finally had enough of Queen Nick, waging a faux culture war and making illegal promises of a second referendum while driving their health care system and living standards into the ground and hiking taxes. Bombshell new Lord Ashcroft research, a so-called super poll, shows this is now a political emergency for the SNP. Just 44% would now vote yes for separation from the UK, below the result of the 2014 referendum, which was 45%, and 56% would vote against separation. 42% of Scots believe Sturgeon should resign now. Only one in five Scots agree with her bizarre call for the next general election to be a de facto referendum on separation. And even amongst SNP supporters, just 44% agree with those delusional plans. Yep, Sturgeon's desire to embrace woke politics by insisting the despicable male rapist Adam Graham, who became a trans woman to try and go to an all-female jail, is in fact a she, has woken voters up to her dangerously hard left rhetoric. It's been left to her predecessor, one-time mentor turned arch nemesis Alex Salmon, to point out the damage she's caused to Scottish separatism. He continued to, to conduct the argument about Scottish self-determination and Scottish independence, having this issue as the touch point and the conflict between Westminster, then it would be untenable. You must get off this issue trying to defend self-identification. Uh, it has been reduced to, to stumbling incoherence. When you get to the stage that people are starting to laugh at you, then that is the stage at which you should realise you're trying to defend the indefensible. I mean, it's not often that I agree with Alex Salmon, but looking at the last few weeks, it's hard to see how their unfortunate cause survives with Sturgeon a laughing stock. Watch this. 24 events occur in real time. A crisis is about to explode. Well, my comments about her, uh, the, the person being a rapist threat to women, they are not. At the last count, the First Minister had refused 12 times to see if Isla Bryson is a man or a woman. Do you regard Isla Bryson as a she woman? herself as a woman. I think you just referred to Isla Bryson using the word her. You, I, I can't remember. I'll it's take your word for it. Well, like fine. Look, slip. Yeah. My question is, are all trans Look, women women? You is, haven't answered that question. Well, that's not the point that we're dealing with that's here. The question I'm trans women are... I mean, have you listened enough to, to women who don't agree with you on the, the reform yeah, of the I've, gender? I've listened, I've listened a lot. The support for the SNP is at its lowest uh, for five years. We are running out of time. Scotland will be far better off without scheming surgeons' separatism obsession. It's time for her to do a Jacinda Ardern, listen to the polls, then shuffle off the stage. <laughs>